Hi everybody, it's Marcy. Um, I am so excited for today. I actually had something else I was thinking about doing today and then my friend Kendra texted me this morning and said she came up with a funnel cake using one of our products. So I thought, oh, perfect. Um, give it another week or two and this uh, glare will be gone. Um, so anyway, what I'm gonna do is use our gluten-free white chocolate pancake mix. Um, I'll, and I've never made this before. I tried to make it in a very small pan because I didn't want to have like a lot of huge things. So the pan might be too small. I don't know. I've never done it before. So we'll see. Um, if this is like my last live video, <laughs> if it goes bad, um, my neighbor, Rebecca, please make sure you come and get my dog. So <laughs> um, we're going to get started and I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Uh, first off, we're going to use our white chocolate pancake mix. See, look, the, even this one has like the little emojis. Pancakes, waffles, no place on here does it say uh, funnel cakes. We owe that one to Kendra. So, you know, ever, all the state fairs were like limited or canceled or something this year. So, you can do this at home. And especially if you have somebody who's gluten-free, how often do they get to have the funnel cakes? Probably not very. Okay, so we're gonna put in two cups of the pancake mix. And then she said um, one and three quarters cup to maybe two cups. So I'm gonna start, uh, we're gonna start and keep a little bit out so I can mix it better if I need to. And one egg. Okay, this, this is, so my friend Kendra is taking this class um, to, I'm not sure what the certification is, but she is going to be like the most amazing, I mean, she's an amazing cook anyway, but after this, she's gonna be even more amazing. This actually looks a little too thin. I might add a little bit more. A little bit, up. Oh. Oh, I thought that was a dog hair. It was just part of the egg that was not mixed. You never know sometimes. Um, I'm going to add just a little bit more because I think it needs to be a little bit thicker. Um, okay. I think that looks good. Okay, cross your fingers, people. I'm not really sure the best way to do this. That feels plenty hot. Um, okay, I'm not going to pour it straight from here. I really want to do it with a funnel, thus the name funnel cake and all. Um, but even pouring it into the funnel from here, let's pour it back into this. And this has white chocolate in it. Oh my gosh, this, every place should do their funnel cakes like this because they would be amazing. Okay, here we go. Everybody cross your fingers. I seriously don't know what I'm doing. Okay. You know, I'm not really sure I asked her, like, what else I needed to know about how to cook this and all. Oh, it sure looks like a funnel cake. This could be an amazing discovery. Um, wow, I'm going to be so impressed, Kendra. <laughs> Okay, and while that's cooking, and really I have no idea how long it's gonna cook, but I'm sort of gonna watch the color. I'm gonna show you some of the things that um, I would put on it. So here is, oh yeah, that's our Aztec uh, cocoa powder. It's in one of my favorite things, and obviously this needs washing. 
Pampered Chef, if you need a Pampered Chef wrap, I have one of my favorite people who is one. It's the best thing. You like put it in this and you can just shake it out. Um, I have another one. I have a feeling this might be really, it doesn't say Pampered Chef on it. I have another one like that. I like the Pampered Chef one better because it has the handle. But I've got some of our buttercream frosty mix in there because it's also got some cocoa in it, so that would be great. I've got raspberry balsamic glaze, which I know we're temporarily out of, but talk to me, I might be able to hook you up with some. You could put our blackberry chipotle on it or our cherry habanero. All those things would be so good on this. Okay, what do you think? It looks like it's about time, uh oh, these are too stiff. I need something much more willing to work with me. Okay. Okay, I'm not sure about this. Let's switch to one of these. I should probably have used a bigger pan, but I just didn't, I don't know, I just didn't want to. Yeah, this does not look like it's ready to flip. Okay, I think it's gonna get a little more firm there. Um, who would ever have thought that you could make it with our pancake mix? How awesome is that? Um, okay, while that is going, let me tell you about some other things that I've got going on. Um, anybody who buys the single origin chocolate bars, I'm gonna be trying to do uh, once a month a virtual tour to the different countries. We'll talk about how chocolate's made, where it's grown, and you, you know, it'll be some fun facts. So if you wanna buy that as a gift for somebody, I will um, send them the link to it also. Um, also, thank you so much for the people who are buying in Sergeant Bam. Let's, I think Maggie told me that a support dog, I can't remember if it was $20,000. We are far from that, people. So let's kick it up a little. If you uh, want to help Sergeant Bam, please, um, go online and you'll see where to order. Okay, I'm gonna try and flip this again. I really have to move it away from there because it's scaring me a little. I gotta tell you, it's looking pretty good though. If I can flip it well. Oh, okay. Whew, did it. Just have the spirit of a grease fire happening. Okay. Now, the other thing too is I see like little spots in there that are probably a little darker than you think you're gonna want, but I have a feeling that's the pieces of white chocolate. So it is not, it is far from burnt. And you had better believe I am not trying this on um, live because I would fry my mouth. Um, Wow, this is so cool. Kendra, thank you so much for this. Um, I guess that you could also use this to make donuts at some point. I guess I'd have to figure that out. Um, and I guess if you toss it with cinnamon sugar, it would be close to a churro, although she tells me it's a different batter. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Let's see how we're doing. Oh, this is totally gonna be awesome. I think we are just about ready to take it off. So Becca loves these. Um, Becca is my funnel cake, Josh is my churro guy. Um, Brittany, I don't know. Who knows what Brittany's favorite things are when it comes to this kind of stuff. I don't really, I can't really think of anything she eats like this. Okay, I'm gonna take it out. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's see if I can do this. Ta-da! There it is, and now, you have to put this stuff on quickly. I think just for this first time, I'm going to just go with the, um, whoa, it's getting sucked in there. The buttercream. No. Uh, 
Um, yeah, this one is not as good as the Pamper Chef one. Ah, there we go. Okay, there you have it. Gluten-free funnel cakes. What more could you ask for? Um, especially with everything canceled this year. And I know everybody's gonna <laughs> going back on lockdown in a lot of places. So um, I'm going to be making some of the things that are supposed to be the hottest things during this part of the lockdown. So stick with me next week and I will see you. Thanks for watching. Bye.